everyone welcome back to another pick a card reading here on my youtube channel into the light thank you so much for being here today and clicking on this video so today's reading is going to be about messages from your spirit guides so what messages do they have to bring to you today so we have three crystals to choose from today we have crystal one with the clear quartz crystal two with the red tiger's eye and crystal three with the rose quartz crystal. I know it's kind of clear looking, but it has a little bit of a pink hue. So, clear quartz, red tiger's eye, rose quartz. So those are your three crystals to choose from today. Think about the question, what messages do my spirit guides have to bring me today? And let your intuition guide you to your crystal of choice. And without further ado, you can find your timestamps in the description box or the comments down below. Now let's begin with the Clear Quartz Crystal. I'll see you at your pile. So those of you who have chosen the Clear Quartz, you found your way to your reading. So what does your spirit guides have to say to you? What messages are they bringing to you today? So let's start off with the Wisdom Oracle deck. One second here. Gotta download something. Okay. To download a reading. Okay. So those who have chosen the clear quartz, what messages? Does your spirit guides have to bring you today? So we have exchanging gifts. I'm going to be using four decks today. So, oh my goodness. That thing flew. Wow. Okay. So we're going to start off with two. So we have exchanging gifts, which is this one here. And then we have time to go, which is the one that flew. And no wonder, because some of you guys are holding on to something that is doing you no good and you really need to let it go. And that's why that card just like literally flew because your spirit guides are telling you, let go, like throw it away. <laughs> don't go back and don't look back at it any longer. Okay. so. What I'm seeing here is like your spirit guides want to be able to give you, you know, exchange gifts with you. They want to be able to help you manifest things in your life. But it's like in order to get that gift, in order to manifest something that you really would like, you need to let go of the past. OK, that's what the trade off is all about. Right. Your spirit guides are trying to like let you know, you know, like, you prayed for something, you wished for something. And in order to get that thing, you need to let go of something, right? Like for example, like you might think like, oh yeah, I'm praying for this. Say you're praying for love to come into your life, but you're holding on to somebody that isn't showing you, isn't you know exchanging that love with you. And you're praying for love and it's like, Spirit's like, okay, we're going to give it to you, but you got to get rid of this person that isn't giving you that love. So we can bring you a person that will give you that love. So you're expecting love from somebody that isn't going to reciprocate that with you. That's just an example. You know, it's not for everybody. It's just an example. But there's some sort of situation that you that you desire that you really want to be in. Even like, say you really want to be um, a really successful artist. Are you good at managing your money though? Say you really want to be in a really beautiful relationship, but are you somebody that's still struggling with codependency? Say you want to be a musician, but do you actually practice every day? You know? So with time to let go is you have, is like you need to let go of something in order to bring it in. You need to let go of that procrastination, those unhealthy patterns, behaviors, so you can bring something beautiful into your life. So they can bring something beautiful into your life. Okay. All right. Strong. We're starting off strong. 
Okay, so let's see what we have with the Work Your Light Oracle. Also, sorry if you hear any like drilling, there's construction happening, which is why it took me like four days to upload videos because there's been construction going on from like 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So sorry about that. Okay, so what is your Work Your Light Oracle deck to bring to you guys today? Messages from your spirit guides. What are they channeling? Ooh, okay. We got, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. So this is just a message to say that what you really would like to achieve in your life, you're already on the path. You're already on the right path of doing so, you know? So it's like, don't overthink about what your next step should be or if you're doing the right thing because you're already doing the right thing, you know? It's like, you're already on the path that you seek to be on, you know? And it's like, you're on your way to... You know, having that success, having that abundance that you've been wanting to achieve, right? Especially if it has to do with something with your ambitions, like maybe something creative that you're doing. It's like you're already facing that, you know? So, yeah, this is like, and especially seeing keep, keep facing your true north. When I see north, I'm thinking of like the north node. And the north node is like good karma. It's like something that you are really great at and something that you're supposed to be doing. Like this is your, like your life purpose. So you're already on your life purpose, right? So don't question too many things. Um, don't try to rush anything either. Like take things day by day, okay? Don't try to compare yourself to anyone. You have your own unique path, okay? So let's see what we have here with the Oracle of Rama. I love, love, love this deck. So first you have to go with a divine guide and then a oracle message. So let's see what divine guide is coming through for you today. Those of you who have chosen the clear quartz crystal, which divine guide would like to deliver a message to you today? What divine guide would like to deliver a message to you today? Those who have chosen the clear quartz, which divine guide would like to deliver a message to you today? Okay, so we have Bharata, it's Rama's brother representative, and he's number three. Okay, so let's see what Oracle message is here for you. So this is the power of responsibility. So you have some sort of responsibility in your life that, you know, you should be, oh, that you'll be victorious on because we have victory okay so we have three deliverance from a mighty obstacle is indicated so there might be some sort of obstacle in your way of getting to that victory it's like and also this is about the final challenge and you see that sorry if you can the final challenge so you see how this is time to go that means there is something that you need to end first before you can have that victory and look oh my goodness wow back of the deck we have new birth and look, the great story begins. And this is the last card, five, the final challenges. So again, you guys are about to walk, or step into a new endeavor, like something new in your life. Um, like you're already on the right path. It's just some sort of pattern or cycle that you need to end before you start a new one, a beautiful one, have a rebirth, okay? So that's what I'm picking up here. So your spirit guides really want you to think about what is something that you don't want to bring into your future life heading forward, okay? So we have the great power that came out so effortlessly. So strength of character, authority, dignity, influence, self-confidence, leadership, peak condition, and potency. So you guys are in your, you're in your power, right? And with this, it's like you guys are supposed to be leaders. There's something that you're supposed to like do that will really inspire other people. It will be just like better for humanity in general. So what you are doing, this final challenge is going to test the strength of your character. It's going to test like, are you truly ready to hop into this new thing, right? Are you truly re ready to have this authority, to have this huge influence on other people, right? Because right now, 
there's something that you're about to step into. You see this card too? It's like she's kind of like going through some kind of portal, some kind of door here. So there's something. And then again, with this, it's like time to go. There's kind of like a, a door, which also looks like a little bit of a portal back there. So there's something that you need to let go of in order to step fully into your power because you have this great power here. You are this leader. You are somebody that is supposed to um, bring, bring forward like better improvement and help other people around you with their self-confidence as well, okay? I'm also sensing with this card here that you guys are going to bring more balance to the people that are around you by really facing facing the challenges that you need to face in order to thrive, you know? It's like going down your own path instead of going down a path that other people might expect of you, okay? That's the challenge here, right? And you will be victorious if you can leave behind the obstacle, if you can pass the obstacle and go your own way. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys that chose pile one with the clear quartz. If you enjoy that reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now. All right, so if you have chosen the red tiger's eye, you found your way to your reading. So, what messages do your spirit guides want to bring to you today? Let's figure it out. Messages from your spirit guides, those who have chosen the red tiger's eye. Spirit guides, what do you want to say to them? What do you want to deliver to them today? Make it loud and clear. Okay, we have a change in the wind. Hmm. Something's changing here. Oh, there we have one more. Okay, what is this? Never-ending story. Okay, so with a change in the wind, starting off, starting off strong, there's something that you are being guided towards. Like there's an initiation kind of happening here, right? And things might be a little bit cloudy. Things might be a little bit like all over the place right now because this is like a test of your strength, right? So with this card here, Something on it there. This is showing me that right now, see how it's like windy? You don't have any control over the wind. You don't have any control over what's happening in your life right now. This is a test of if you can be strong and face that wind. You know, the wind is like blowing at them, but they're still moving towards it. You know, they're still getting past it. So there might be some sort of power moment happening in your life things are kind of breaking down you know it's like a big storm happening but it's for the best okay and it's to serve your highest good right and at the end of this you'll have a lot more clarity and you'll even have a lot more strength because despite the opposition you kept going despite what was being thrown at you you kept being strong you kept open when you wanted to close down when you wanted to break down you still kept going you know and with never ending story very interesting here um this is saying like whatever is happening in your life like this this, this kind of destruction like whoever is throwing like the wind and sand and dust and whatever whoever is causing the storm external to you Avoid it, you know, avoid latching on emotionally to what is happening in your life, okay? Take that moment to really just like learn and kind of step back and listen. Like, for example, if somebody's yelling at you or arguing with you, instead of like arguing back, sit back a little bit and listen to what they're saying and really be like, are you sure this is what you want to like? go through right now like kind of question other people around you instead of questioning yourself 
and your own character, question the character of other people, right? Because other people's drama is not your drama. You know, other people's emotional disrupt their issues is not your issue, right? And that drama will pass. That hurt, that that annoyance that you're feeling from those people around you, it will pass as long as you avoid it, as long as you don't attach to it emotionally because it's their own problem. You know, they're causing a problem, okay? So yeah, that's a little, that's really big. That's kind of like one of a, a big lesson I even had to face. Like you can't really let other people affect you at all. Okay, so let's see what we have here with the work your light. What other messages do your spirit guides want to bring to you? Yeah, don't let any people affect you. There is going to be a lot of criticism and just a lot of issues showing up in your life, but stay strong and you'll get through it. It, it will pass. It will pass. You'll be stronger. Ooh, we got Star Mother. How can you mother yourself? Okay, for some of you guys, what I'm picking up is like you might not have like the greatest relationship with your parents, okay? Especially your mom. Like maybe your parents weren't nurturing or they were neglectful when you were younger, like as a child. So in your life currently, you're learning ways to nurture yourself. You're what you're learning ways to reparent yourself so that you don't end up like your parents, so you don't bring that trauma and hurt to your own kids in the future so star mother is like how can you nurture yourself how can you be there for yourself and even when other people aren't there for you you know if they don't understand what you're going through or they can't connect with you emotionally they can't understand you how can you use that moment for yourself to to heal you know like how do you heal yourself how do you break through those issues that have been thrown at you like all your life you know maybe you were like conditioned to think about yourself a certain way you're conditioned to feel like you're a certain way because you're constantly getting like constantly being thrown like just nasty words or just not a lot of great things happening to you constantly being thrown Constantly having like bad like friendships being thrown at you or something like that. And it's like maybe that was one of your biggest lessons that you shouldn't be looking for that comfort external to you. But for yourself because, you know, you didn't have that validation from your parents. So you kind of looked other ways to get that validation. But like that validation should only come from within, you know. So that's what I'm getting from that card. Powerful, powerful, powerful messages. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm so happy to deliver these messages today. So we're going to go in with the Oracle of Rama. What divine guide has to deliver a message to you today? Okay, this is, I think it's, it's also called India's Ancient Oracle, which I love, love, love a lot. Ooh. Okay, so we have Hanuman, which is the power of active devotion so yeah be devoted to yourself honey okay so this is number one so what ways can you be devoted to yourself i think that's one of the most powerful things that you can do Woo! Woo! oh these cards came out okay Okay, I'm going to take out, I'm not sure. Okay, hold on. Some cards fell. Let me just get them. Okay, so first, this is the first card that I saw turn over. It's a staying the course. Staying the course. So no matter what is happening, no matter what kind of opposition is coming, dangers or obstacles on the way, continue your journey you know, continue going down that line. So we would go through one, God may be seen on the paths of life. Okay, so this is talking about, hmm. So 
So what I'm picking up from this is like when you are continuing forward with your journey, you'll begin to acknowledge like there's divine spirit like around you. Okay, so no matter what obstacle you're going through, it's like you'll never be faced with an obstacle that is so hard that you can't get through. Like maybe you'll feel like, oh, I'm super heartbroken right now. But it's like you'll get through that like and it'll pass. It's like within the next like three weeks or whatever, how long it takes you, you're going to be fine and you're going to be stronger at the end of it. And you'll realize like, wow, like there was always that strength. There was always like another source around me while I was going through my path of life. Like I really avoided the most craziest situations. And that's because of the divine. Um, two more cards also fell out. So I'm just going to give you the messages from this one too. So again, we would use one. And it says, every day is beautiful. Yep. See that every day is beautiful. No matter like whatever happens in your life, it's beautiful because you woke up. It's beautiful because you can go out and have a walk. You can be with the trees. You can be in nature. Life right now is beautiful because you can break your karma and have a better afterlife where you can have a better um life in the future of right now you know and then we also have karma here which also karma like one of the buddhist um is it buddhist yeah like there is karma there's two different types of uh there's probably more like definitions of what karma is but with Hinduism and Buddhism, there's also, they talk about karma and they talk about how we go through this cycle of rebirth. And depending the conditions of your current life and what you do, how much good intentions you, you put out towards things like good actions, you will have a better uh, rebirth, right? So like maybe in this life, you are kind of like middle class or something. And when you really put good intention towards things you're doing things just for the good of yourself just being really compassionate and kind in your next life you'll maybe be like richer you know something like that um but with buddhists it's like all about breaking that karma you don't want to be in that cycle you want enlightenment so that could be also something that you're going through right now you don't want to you want to break that karma so one we have a little gain our karma limits achievement Right. So, so remember that, like, even when you're going through a lot of opposition in your life, just a lot of issues, like, remember that you can't, like, you can't just be, like, so upset about everything going on. Like, you kind of just need to see the blessing in everything and still be compassionate and kind, even though you feel like your world is kind of crumbling apart. Even though it's, like, it's easier said than done. But I feel like a lot of you guys in this group is, like, just going through something. You just feel like, oh, this is a never-ending story. Like, I keep going through the same things. You know, you want to break that cycle, right? You want to bring more good karma into your life. And you can do that by staying on the course. You can do that by staying... Um, true to your path you know even when you when you want to break down and say forget all of this stay true to your path okay so one more card here sorry I feel like I just rambled but I really have to <laughs> deliver that message okay let's see what else we have here one last message from your spirit guides Okay, we actually have two. We have waiting, perseverance, take care of essentials, restraint, leave well enough alone. I guess alone time, moderation and right timing. So I see like with star mother in this card, it's like, again, ways to mother yourself. And I feel like as well, if you are somebody that, you know, wants to have kids in the future, it's like you need to mother yourself and break those patterns that your parents have brought to you so you don't have to bring that on to your to your children right because this woman she's fully pregnant she's about to give birth so it's like you know taking care of yourself 
and loving yourself and persevering through like all that restraint through all that you know opposition and just waiting like giving yourself time to grow giving yourself time to learn that's really important for you right now and then we also have influence that came out with it so I feel like that's something else that is going to come to you as in like a little gift from you know your guys is this genuine affection this mutual attraction with you and somebody else here okay because this is courtship as well connecting stimulation and i feel like you are going to be met up with your soulmate right or your your divine counterpart your twin flame however you you see like fits for you because we also have this yin and yang in the middle and it kind of also looks like to me it looks like they're creating this with both of their energy right and then this woman here, she's like pregnant. So I feel like something that, like if you are a feminine and you want to like have a baby, um, you're going to be birthing a child. And again, we have new birth here too. Birthing a child that has to do a lot for this world as well. And you need to be prepared for that. Okay. But if not a child, you guys are something that you're supposed to be doing for this world is you're supposed to bring about like a new idea or invention something innovative that you need to do which will actually help a lot of people maybe help humanity maybe help a lot of people in your community so it's like you're going through these lessons so that you can teach other people how to get through the same lessons that you went through right so that's what i got for you guys that chose pile two Thank you so much for clicking on this reading. If you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now. All right. So if you have chosen the Rose Quartz Crystal, you found your way to your reading. So what messages do your spirit guides have to bring to you today? Let's figure it out. So I'm going to start off with the... Sorry. The Wisdom Oracle deck, or Wisdom of the Oracle. Alright, so let's see what messages your spirit guides have to bring to you today. For those who have chosen the Rose Quartz Crystal, what messages does your spirit guide have to bring to you today? We have Co-Create. Lovely. Okay, so they're creating with you right now. Co-create and blessed. Amazing. Okay. So right now, you guys are being asked to really step into your power and really just start creating a better lifestyle for yourself. Because you guys are very creative. And you have that power to manifest anything that you want by just thinking about it. You know, the law of attraction is something that will help you a lot in your life right now. So right now, your spirit guides are seeing that you're trying to create a life that you really do desire and you really do need, right? Feel like you do need. And maybe some of you are going through some kind of creative blockage or perhaps you feel like you need to do more like you aren't doing enough um but right now you're actually about to step into a new opportunity that will help you get like rid of that feeling you know so i think what this is also saying is like spirit is trying to let you know that Maybe what you're in right now or the journey that you're about to step into is going to be overwhelming. But it's going to take a lot of inner wisdom. And you need to tap into that divine spirit, you know. I'm getting such a, like, crazy feeling from this card because this is so weird. But I had a dream, like, last night. And there was an owl, like, on the floor, and it was, like, staring at me, and there's an owl right here. So I feel like that is also a message to you guys. Um, so look up owls. Look up owls and, is this a jaguar? Yeah. I feel like your guys are telling you you're about to step into something 
really beautiful in your life that really required a lot of inner wisdom and a lot of strength so you can keep on going like not like and don't look back you know because there is a blessing a blessing coming to you right and I feel like you are about to bless a lot of people in humanity as well with your gifts okay I feel like as well this is about like connecting with your spirit guides as well listening to them getting in tune and surrendering to control so that they can bless you, so that they can deliver you the messages that you need to hear, okay? So let's see what we got with the work here, like Oracle. Definitely you guys in this group are doing something really big for humanity. What is this? Ooh, this is such a pretty card. Okay, so what we have here is the Great Gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits. Soul tribe. Wow. Okay. These cards are literally so beautiful. I really love this deck. Um, I actually just recently got it too, so I'm still getting acquainted with it. But oh my goodness. The Great Gathering. So as I said, you guys are about to do something, or you guys are doing something right now in your life that is supposed to help a lot of other people you're supposed to bring some more balance into to humanity like that's kind of like something you're supposed to step into and to do this you're also being connected with your your soul tribe i don't know if you can pick this up or you can or if the camera can pick this up but there's little like white orbs on top of these little these are like people there's orbs on top of their head, and you see how they're covered with this purple blanket? So it's like you all, your soul tribe is being protected. And that little white orb is like messages from, from spirit, from the divine, okay? So it's telling you to use your intuition. That's why you need to connect to your spirit, guys. That, that's something that's really big here, so you understand what your next steps are, okay? You're being called to connect with your, your spirit guides at a soul level. So you can also connect with your soul tribe, right? So you need to let yourself be heard. Let your voice soar, you know? Tell people and inspire other people, okay? You're supposed to bring about a message, okay? It doesn't even have to be like you have to be like some sort of speaker. But even if you do something creatively, like maybe you make music and your music is just really healing for people, there's some kind of message that you're bringing across humanity to raise more consciousness right this group you are a part of this this ancestral line to heal your generational trauma or your past um past life uh karma and as well to make sure that you break that cycle so that your future um, children and also just the future people that you guide can also end those traumas as well. And you can do that by sharing, sharing what's real to you, what's true to you. You know, you have to let yourself be heard, let yourself be seen. And you can do that by co-creating with other people as well. So yeah, I feel like this group, you're really being called to connect with your guides. And soon you'll meet more of your soul tribe. Okay. So let's see what Divine Guide has a message for you today. We're using the Oracle of Rama. So what Divine Guide has a message for you today? We also have two fours here because we have four and then 22, which is four. So that might be a message for you. Four is also about protection, right? Stability, comfort. Okay, so we have Shatrugana, Sat Satrugana, the power of destroying obstacles. Yes, you guys, as I was saying, you're here to break like that gener generational trauma. You're here to heal your ancestral line. Okay, you're here to also help heal others, heal humanity. 
Okay, so we have Rama's brother, so that's number two. So we're going to pull a oracle message and see what he has to bring to you today. What message? Okay. This will show some pile three with the rose quartz. What message? Okay. Road less traveled. Amazing. So we would go to number two. This is a great person removes obstacles. So you're somebody that removes obstacles. Again, you're remove you're destroying obstacles here, right? You're on this road that is less traveled. So a lot of people don't want to go down this path that you have. You know, maybe in your past, like in your past um, life, you were being you were given this obstacle to go down, like either this road that is really dark and scary, and there's a lot of like turmoil happening but in the end things are going to be really successful for you or you go down more of an easy road where you can just like live comfortably and you don't have to go through too much you know but your soul wanted to go down this this path you know even though there's a lot of obstacles on the way you knew that you would be helping a lot of other people you know so it's like It's like you either go down the little humble path, you just do something for yourself, whatever, or you go down this path where even though there's going to be a lot of obstacles, a lot of like challenges, you will help thousands, hundreds of people, even when you pass on, like your legacy is going to keep on growing, you know, you're going to affect a lot of people greatly because of the way that you have destroyed these obstacles. You're going to be really well known by humanity, you're going to get a lot of praise and respect okay so let's see what we have here the Tao Oracle card before we finish off this reading okay we have progress advancement gaining recognition did I just say that you guys are gonna have so much recognition a lot of people are gonna respect you and look up to you we have appreciation, achievements, acceleration, steady gains, and increased clarity. Wow. So you guys, this is amazing. You're going down this path that in the beginning, there's a lot of turmoil and it's hard to see your way through, but every obstacle that you destroy, every challenge that you achieve, you know, you gain more clarity and you'll get like more achievements like you'll get more rewards from it as well like your your guides are rewarding you for all of the hard work that you go through you know it's like they're throwing things at you so that you can you know maintain maintain strong like your soul signed you up for this so it's like hey you told us to do this and that's what we're doing so and look you are progressing beautifully, you know? Even though it's steady, you're still going to get somewhere, right? You're still going to uh, achieve a lot, okay? You're very blessed and guided. So that's what I got for you guys that chose Pile 3 with the Rose Quartz Crystal. If you enjoyed that reading, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now.